We're going to be working with one of my new signs that I made today. It says, makes me want to take a back road. I wanted a red truck sign. And I wanted this to show up on here, but then I wanted a little border to make it pop. So I think we've got that. So we're going to be working with um, some sunflowers today. And some ribbon. And some mesh. We're just going to see what we come up with. Okay, I see we've got eight. I know there's still some that we didn't have on before. And again, it won't let me won't let me go up, won't let me go down. Hey Ty, how are ya? Welcome. Alright. Now I'm thinking to make this pop, we're gonna use this um deco mesh. It's kinda like um not really it's not really more like a fabric mesh is what it's like thank you for spreading the love because my computer won't let me do anything so if anybody is on Lori's group if you could share it over there or hardworking mom any of those I'd so appreciate it it doesn't want to work today okay I think I'm going to cut these these this 10 inch mesh we're going to cut it at 12 inches and I'm going to be really careful with this cutter because I watched Pearl on Sunday take a chunk of her thumb off or finger and I don't want to do that so I'm going to be real careful in cutting Aw, oh, thanks, Ty. Appreciate it. Hope you got your noom. Again, I'm cutting these at 12 inches. And my cutter needs a new blade. And I'm not going to tempt feet. I'm just going to do this. <laughs> did I cut four I'm going to do about eight at 12 inches Might need more, so I'm going to keep it handy, okay? Jeez, why is that so blurry? I hope, are you guys seeing a clear screen? Because I got a terrible blotchy screen. Hi, Dawn. We're having terrible difficulties. So if you could do some spreading. It won't let me share. It won't let me do anything. And the screen's looking really blurry. All right. So the reason I'm using fabric mesh with this is sometimes when you use the fabric mesh, it doesn't hold its volume like the regular mesh does. So in putting this against the wreath, I think we're going to be good. So I cut these at 12 inches. I'm just going to do a simple ruffle. Now, I will use um, pipe cleaners on this. Oh, Dawn, you're a lifesaver. Thank you. And I think I'm going to take them down through. Thank you, dear. I don't know if it's the new computer. I don't know if it's the Mevo. I don't know what it is. But I spent the whole weekend 
exporting, downloading, uploading. One month's worth of lives. Just because I couldn't get anything to work. Welcome back, Esther. <laughs> I don't know. I think I hit the off button. Sorry about that. But things were coming back. And I cut my, um, my fabric mesh here at 12 inches. I'm doing little, just little ruffles. But I got a horrible, horrible, horrible picture on the computer right now. I hope you're not. <laughs> How long have you been at it, Missy? <laughs> Cleaning it. Move my signs up a little. There we go. Now we got some room. I still don't have Christmas stuff put away down here. And they're begging for another class, and it's like, I can't think of anything until all the pups are out of here. I've got 13 beds I gotta make. Okay. All right. I don't know why what it is then. I think my computer's gonna be going back. Because it's fuzzy as all heck. I can read your comments all okay. I can't share. I can't do anything. I'm just putting the mesh on this side because I'm thinking I'm going to put the flowers in there too. There's my sign. Makes me want to take a back road. That's a country song. Can anybody name the artist? <laughs> Well, sure, the shipment for me didn't help, did it, Missy? <laughs> that just cluttered it up even more. <laughs> Thank you, Esther. This is horrible. I feel like I'm being held hostage by my Mevo and my computer. They're taking over the world. <laughs> my little world in my basement. This is a fairly easy... Um, grapevine wreath to get through. I'm loving it because I forgot to bring my needle down. And I don't usually use pipe cleaners, but on these I will. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're as bad as me, Missy. Did you get your nooms yet? too. I've been wanting to use it for a long time. I have blue jean ribbon and we're going to use it because it's that kind of wreath. Right? Oh yeah. Well, maybe not because that's a different... Oh well. We'll figure it out. This is a we're going to change it as we go along. What are you saying wow to, Donna? Missy's Christmas stash? <laughs> I think Miss, Missy's like me. She's very visual. Some people are frugal, some people are visual, and some people just got to have it. Well, that's me too. I just got to have it because I know someday I'll have something that it will work with, right? <laughs> well, don't forget to call, 
you know, let me know when you're going live or whatever you're doing with them. Because we got to share it. Carl just bought the gnomes and the signs to match. So I can't wait to see what he's going to do with them. And my bike wheel still didn't come in. I was at my special place today. And they have a bike out front for $6.50 that has two purple wheels that I want. And it's like, okay, you buy it. Now what do you do with the rest of the bike? You got your wheels, but then, then what do I do with the bike? <laughs> so I passed. Yes, it is. Is anybody where they're shutting down? towns right now I was listening to my country station today and they're shutting down a town in Oklahoma it's like what the heck near Oklahoma oh that's so me yep that's where I'm at kind of in a slump I think I'm gonna round the corner here. Have any of you ever used mesh on a grapevine? I wonder if that's why we click with some people because they're so much like us. <laughs> Just want to make it look a little rustic on one side and put a little pop of red in there to match the red truck. Yes, Jason Aldean. Thank you. I want to make, I want to start making some more rustic, um, you know, primitive and country. Because I'm, I'm a country girl at heart. Heck, I got my chickens in the backyard and we have fresh eggs daily. So... I definitely want to get some chicken signs and some country signs and that kind of stuff going on. My uh, sign is not tight enough, so we're just tightening it up a little. And I think we're going to do one more up there. So we did 10 of these. No? Oh my gosh, I've done it. Ah. No, I've done it before. I did a, um, when I used to do the, and I still do it occasionally. I have a brother scan and cut, which is kind of like a cricket. And I had some beautiful um, primitive signs that I made. And we did this. We put the mesh here on the side and the sign went here the bow went over here and then we had cotton all throughout here and we could add some cotton I think cotton would really make it look rustic um, so we'll we'll add some pieces of cotton in here too boy this is a horrible picture on my computer right now I hope I don't regret this purchase Although my computer guy, he's awesome. All right, so we've got our sign. Makes me want to take a back road. And we have 
three big sunflowers. So I'm just kind of visually placing these and see where I want them to be. And then we'll get out some cotton and see. I mean, we may want to do all three flowers up here. Uh, I don't know. Kind of liking that there, though. And then maybe add some greens in there, too. I'm just so disappointed I don't have my bike wheel. And that bike up there is calling me. So I don't know. Maybe we'd be better off like doing this. Putting the three of them together. Because the sign, they're all three together. I have some filler. Let me just see what works here. I also have some red flowers. Nope, red flowers. We're ditching those. We might be able to use some of these. Um, we get some cotton here. Don't go anywhere. There we go. Let's see. And then we can do a nice big bow right up here and maybe a smaller one down there. Or, get my cotton out here and see what we can do with this. Kind of just play with it a little bit and see where we like it. Let's try breaking them up because we'll still have our triangle if we do it that way. Hmm. I'm not liking that. Let me see what this does for it. Susan. <laughs> That's probably where my bike tire is. <laughs> You're funny. Oh. I'm liking that because it kind of plays off the blue too. And there's a little bit of green behind the truck. Let me just go with this. This is a great filler I got from Sims a long time ago. And boy, I didn't have it out the day I did the bicycle basket. But after I shut the camera off, I started filling it in with that. And it just made it pop. But it still, it still needs something else in here. And I'm not sure what that is. I'm going to use five of these. I'm a stickler for getting the right amount in there. Okay, it still needs something else. Now maybe with that on there we can get away with... No. It like needs something else. I'm just looking at my stash. Okay. Let me think here. Let me see what I got. It might work. Okay. Mm. Ah. It looks like I need something tan. 
in there too. And I'm not sure. Wait a minute. I think I got it. See, we got a couple of different choices. I think I like this. Nope. What about this? No. This works. have two. Come on now. like on it. Without the leaves. I'm going to put some of that in there. I'm going to put about five. this way. Now, if I use that, then this needs to be darker. So, go to my dark. There we go. Alright, let's try this. Let's get rid of that. this again. Maybe we just need like one here, one there. I do have some daisies. You think I need daisies in there? yellow daisies. I got white daisies upstairs. This has almost got like a blue hue to it. This piece. No. 
that's too close. I got a couple big ones. I've got some peach colored ones. That doesn't look right. My daisies, my other daisies are upstairs. So all I have down here are my small yellow daisies. Sometimes you don't know if a design's going to work until you start putting stuff on it. No, it needs the white daisies. So, I will run upstairs real quick and get the small white daisies. This green that I think will work better than this green. Now I think we got it. Yes, there we go. Now we got little daisies and we've got big daisies. So let's kind of scatter them. And I think it looks better against the, the green instead of this. Problem is, I'm not sure if I have any more of this. There we go. Missy to the rescue again. <laughs> Thanks, Miss. <laughs> Maybe we'll put a bigger one there. Then we'll kind of group some smaller ones. Okay, they went that way, so I'm going to take this over this way. Yes! I knew we'd get it. Just have to sometimes just play around with it. So, we'll get, get this going this way, and we'll get this going that way, and put this bigger one going this way. Now I want to go travel on a back road. I'm going to go up and turn on my girl, Alexa and get her to play that song. Now, we'll put one more down here with this clump. There. We could add a small one here, too. And then we got two. Three. Sometimes it takes a different eye too. So So we got like a cluster of 5 and then we got 3 and 3. And we could add some of these around in here too. No. What I need is more of that. And I think I got more. Woohoo! I listened to Lori the one day, 
and ordered a bunch of all the filler that she was talking about. And it has really come in handy. There. It just needed some more oomph. Because we got green in our sign. I'll go back and glue all this in a little bit. May have to press these flowers. There. Now, so we got one, two, three, four. Could add one right here. And then add a little right here. Then we could break this in three and we could add some of this. Let's try that. Just to give it another dimension there. It doesn't, doesn't do it. I thought it would. I was looking for like something of another color. I like that in there because that's like a different texture. But I may use these because these have a little blue tint to them since we've got some of that blue on the back of, let's see, yeah, that's what it needed. I'm not ignoring you guys, I'm just, I think I'm, I think I'm in the zone. I do that sometimes, do you? Where you just get to designing and then you're like in the zone. That's what's happening. Um, in the zone. On the back country road. Just wish I had a, a flower that color, but I don't. Nah. I think we're kind of good. Let's see if we just add one of these in here. Oh, sorry, guys. Yeah, just like there. Just, just a little simple pop of yellow. Kind of pull it in. But I need like something right here. screen is so blurry it's horrible I don't have anything on phone is great the computer is a mess what do you think so far now we make a bow maybe one right here just a simple one and then we'll see if we want to add another one okay look how easy it is for cleanup 
I'm sorry. I'm just, ah, oh, this time change has got me just goofed out. How about you guys? I kind of like a little pop of that in there, though, just to give it another dimension of color. goes on this side. It works there, but it doesn't work down here. So, all right, let's work with our bow. I need a little yellow daisy. I don't know. All right. We got lots of ribbon to choose from. Do you? I like it when it's lighter out. That I have to say. But I, I'm sorry. I just oh, I can't stand it. It's just hard getting back in the swing of things. All right, so we got that. We also have this. We have this. We have this. Missy likes her solids. We have a solid. Um, I'm just trying to see what I have. I don't have any blue to match that. I have this, but there's not enough. That's the only one I have. So, I do have this. So, we got daisies and we got sunflowers. This is always a nice one to use too. What you think? Let's pick four. Okay, I definitely want these two. So this would be a nice combo with it. And then this would be nice too. Okay guys, come on. I also have, okay, if it's too much red, I have a can with um, daisies. like the tan with daisies. I kind of like this combination right here, but I'm just not sure of the other two. Okay, I knew Missy was going to go for this. She likes her solids. <laughs> I purposely pulled it down for you, Miss. So what do you think? I definitely want to do this because of the sunflowers. I think that's a nice one. So if we do this and this, I don't know, I think that, and then this, or, or, What, these, this looks good? You mean these four? You like those? I also have this. This is a red with white. It has flowers all over it. 
my blue jean I don't know it's kind of like a different blue because that's more like a turquoise um, now what I could do okay I could just add this in the middle of the bow at the top what do you think you think we need daisies in there? This kind of it's kind of too much. I do that. Let's start out with this and let's add just this pop in the front. What do you think? Let's go that route. We can always pull it apart if we don't like it. Which I've been known to do. daisies in that way. Get back here. Yeah, I this really works with that. This is this doesn't. And this is all I have of that. So we're just gonna put that in the middle and make it pop. Right? I'm going to use two of these. I'm loving it. I am loving it. So, because we only have one piece of this, we're just going to center it. And put it in the center. Remember, I don't use the tie and do this and do that. I just use the one piece right here. I just bring it together and twist it and lay it flat ready for the next. So look at that. You could take your little leftover pieces and incorporate them just to give it a little pop. Alright, next we're going to go with this color. So One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to do two rows of this. Actually, I think I'm only going to do this. I'm going to do one row. Now I'm pushing it against that boyfriend peg, and I'm bringing this forward twisting it. There we go. I should start writing these colors down so I know what I need the next time I order. Alright, then we're going to use our sunflower. I 
think I got another idea. I think I know what we're going to add last. See, just when you thought you had me pegged. Woo -woo. All right. Now we're going to go with the solid next. against and twist. See, I can grasp these much easier than the 22 or the 24 gauge ribbon or wire. Okay. Next, I'm going to go with this. They have a pro bow, the hand. Anybody? getting all our colors from the sign in this bow. Okay, now I got one more that I'm going to add. Oh, there it is. It's up here. I'm going to add this. Why not? it in white too and green it's well it's not really a white it's more like a cream let's add the cream y'all still with me Call 911. Missy got lost in a pile. <laughs> Missy, did you get lost? There. Got a SOS. Missy's lost.
place is booby trapped, y'all. This one, Vanessa? <laughs> this came from Paper Mart. I'm not, I'm, it's, it, I ordered a bunch of it. I ordered it in green. I ordered it in tan. I ordered it in this color. This color says ivory. It just sometimes gives your bow another dimension. They do have some nice ribbon and they do have some good pricing. Um, if you, if you buy over, I know you don't, may not want to do this, but sometimes if you buy over a certain amount, they knock additional percentages off. So, but I, I, they just have some unusual stuff. Like, um, when I made that little birthday arrangement, uh, the one with the little spots on it, um, the special lace, I, I got a lot of that from there. I, I just, I just not sure on their mesh, but some of the ribbon is really unique. And, um, this one was 10 yards. I have it on sale for 54 cents a yard. Um, so, you know, you can find different stuff that you don't see every day. And that's what I'm trying to do. Use what I have and not add to the clutter. <laughs> but it's not working. <laughs> and right now I have so much that has to be brought in for the puppies going out. It's kind of like I can't even think about ribbon right now. So we got this on this side, this on this side. Let's see. Next is our red. How many of you are going to try a grapevine and put mesh on it? That's what I want to see. I want to see some of your creations. You guys watch us. We want to see what you make. Susan, I went ahead and I just did a 12 inch ruffle and when I bunched it up in the middle, I just took a pipe cleaner and went down through. I think there's 10 or 8. I can count the pipe cleaners in a minute on the back. Look at that. That just gave it a little pop of that color that's in the sign. And that's all I had left of that ribbon. So <laughs> it's like we uh, made it look like it belonged. There. And just used a little, I think I'm going to cut this just a little bit shorter. 
I'm not liking how long this is. There. Sometimes you gotta adjust after you're done. There we go. That's better. I think I'm gonna cut this one down a little bit too. But sometimes you don't need all your tails that long. Pref personal preference. Missy, you have me using more solids than I used to. <laughs> so you're rubbing off on me. But it does. It does make a difference. So for that, I appreciate it. There we go. This more over here. There we go. There. Much better. Alright. We're going to put this on there. And then I think we're done. May need something down there yet. I don't know looking kind of bare. So we pulled the blue out of the sign, we pulled the red, we pulled the sunflowers. Maybe by Monday, my bike tire will be here, so I can do the bike. Or I may just end up going up and buying that bike. <laughs> That's just one more thing my husband has to get rid of, so I don't think he'd appreciate it. But I'm telling you, the purple tires would match the sign perfectly. Just trying something. Just a little hand bow for down at the bottom here. Here's Levine. How's Harless? My little buddy. Thank goodness. Oh, Carol, he is awesome. I finally had to go on Sunday. I, w I was so 
busy last week. I did not have time to stop and see him, so I had to make time to see him because I was going through withdrawal. He is doing so good. He's gaining just what a little peanut. He's starting to grow into some of his clothes. He was only 6'1 when he was born and then he dropped down in weight and now he's picking back up again. So we're just thrilled. His daddy went back to work. So he had some really nice time with them. But he is such a cutie. It's like he can't get enough of them. Yeah, I just wanted a little something down here. You don't have to co cover up every inch, but it, it, it just looked like I forgot something. So I wanted it to look right. Maybe I can get these going down this way. There. Gonna go which way I tell you. that side. There we go. Alright. Makes me want to take a back road. What do you think? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Looks like we added, no. One, two, three, I think it was eight, Susan. We added eight, um, 12 inch. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Levon, because I can't share. My screen is blurry. Everything. What a mess. All right, so we used the grapevine wreath. We put 12 inch, 10 inch. It says deco mesh, but this is not deco. It's more like a fabric mesh in here, just around here. Then we put our sign in, and then we added florals. What do you think? Oh, wow. Aww. She needs one of these in her room. With her name on it. I'm saving this to add a little girl's name here, like say Monroe's room or Eve's room. I just think that is, that's one of the kits that we have. And then we have this for the little boy. I have the little lambs to match the signs. There we go. Oh, thank you. 
And see, we didn't use, so this is really a good wreath to, uh, to make when you only have, say, a little bit left on the roll. You don't have to make them 12 inches. They would have been fine at 10 inches. But I just wanted that to kind of be the base, the background for the flowers. So that's why we added that. Thank you. I have to glue everything in place, and that's a problem. When I take it apart to glue it, then I mess up. So I should really glue as I go along, but we made a few changes, so I'm glad I kind of waited. I've got to list these. You know, I, I fall in love with them, and then I don't want to part with them, and that's what happens. <laughs> so... Sure. All we did was take a piece of wood and we deco or modge podged scrapbook paper onto it. Added the sign. The sign, when you use the E6000, really sticks solid to things. So and then what we did, we just added a ribbon and put a bow at the top and then some flowers. The whole wreath kit without the background paper is 22. And then you make it yourself. And then if you have a vinyl cutter, if not, you know, if somebody wanted such and such room, I can, I can cut it. Oh, how rude. I'm telling you, it's doing funky things today. Okay. And then like I said, we have it in we have it in blue. Um, we also have these. These are the new little room signs for little girls. What I did, this is for my grandson. And what I did was I ran ribbon through it and brought it out the back side of it for hanging. This isn't the ribbon I'm going to use for it. I was just kind of showing everybody what you could do. But then you have Eve's room. Um, this has gone to my granddaughter for her birthday. She's into unicorns. Um, the one that we have on the way, this is his room theme, mountains. So, and then we have truck one, then we have this one. Little girls, they're decorating little girls' rooms with deer and pink now. That's a popular one. And then we have... This was the one I was going to do today, but my bike tire did not come in yet. And then we have the B one, and I make the gnomes to match. And then we have lemonade. Here's the other little girl's room one. That comes in a kit also. Comes in pink or blue. And we have Enjoy the Little Things, um, Nothing Bugs a Lady, Follow Your Dreams, we have two more bike ones, Seek Beautiful Things and Follow the Sun, and then of course we have Horses Leave Paw Prints on Your Heart. And then we have it in license plate form too, and now we have the new sign makes me want to take a back road. I wanted to get the red truck in there with some sunflowers. So, but yeah, a lot of, I don't always make the signs for a wreath. Um, if you have any special sayings or anything that you want 
to put on a on one, I can do that too. So, all right, guys, I thank you so much for helping me and spreading the love because we could not spread it. So, I really appreciate your help and support. And like I said, make sure I'll go back and I'll try and put the links to some of my pages. Make sure you're on my Robin's Resigns and More. Um, that's a new Facebook page and my YouTube channel. Okay. Love you too, Esther. I miss you on Mondays and Fridays. I miss everybody. But sometimes you got to do what you got to do. And I did. So. Thank you, Vanessa. I appreciate that. Thank you, Missy. All right, guys. I will talk to you all soon. I'll be on Monday night at 8. having a simple ear surgery tomorrow so send some prayers <laughs> and hope it stays in this time because I'm so tired of going back and forth so well well you never know you know, I just got to lighten my load. Thank you. It's uh, been so hectic with the 13 puppies, and now we have um, vacation season starting, and that's when I get slammed with borders. And I don't even have my taxes started yet. So... I am so far behind, and I've got like, what, seven more beds to make for those puppies leaving, so my butt is dragging. <laughs> Alright guys, you have a great day, and thanks again, okay? Alright, good night.